I'm Andy Fell. I'm the Dorset Wildlife Monitoring Officer and Volunteer Manager. Um, I've been working here since um, November, um, so finding plenty to do um, and lots of challenges. We've got some hedges to lay. Um, we've got, I've got a load of trees coming, we've got about 300 trees coming, so um, that's quite a big project to do. Um, pruning the apple trees, there's a little orchard already at the Beer Marsh Farm, um, but those trees really do need um, pruning. I don't think they've been done for a few years. Um, and of course, once we've done all that sort of work, we've got loads of monitoring to do. Um, I want to establish a butterfly transect. Um, there's a, a, a breeding bird survey that uh, I'd like to do. Laying the hedge, that's going to make the hedge a much better, a much thicker um, hedge um, long run, in the long run. Um, and that, that will mean that it's really good for wildlife. Um, um, we do have dormice fairly close by, so if we can get a much thicker hedge, um, that might encourage the, the dormice to um, just uh, extend their range a little bit over to our farm. Um, and the surveys, well, we need a baseline survey. We, we need to know where we are at the moment as regards wildlife. Um, so once we find that, we can see how our improvements do, how our management works, and, and the, um, the surveys will um, work towards a management plan for the farm as well. Because this is a brand new project here, Beer Marsh Farm, um, we, I've, I've, got, I've brought a few tools from home. Um, apart from that, we haven't got anything. Um, so, um, so when we do the, the hedge laying, we need to get things like bill hooks. Um, and uh, when we do the, the tree planting, we're going to need some spades. Um, and uh, cutting back some of the hedges that are already planted, we need things like loppers and, and bosols. Um, so lots of things we need. Having worked as a volunteer myself and with volunteer groups for, for many, many years, um, having good equipment and the right equipment is, is essential. Um, if you don't, then not only is it unsafe for volunteers, it, it does mean that um, it takes twice as long to do anything. Um, and that's going to put volunteers off, that's, that's for sure. There's lots of benefits. Um, people volunteer for all sorts of reasons, um, whether it be um, to do something good, something something very useful, um, something positive. Um, it can help um, with your your uh, physical health, your mental health, um, keeps you fit. Um, and there's a huge social side to it. I'd love people to volunteer for, for us in Dorset, whether it be a beer marsh farm or a baby's farm um, near Marshwood. Um, there's lots of things that people can get involved in. Um, and we're really keen that people do get involved because uh, there's such a such a good community spirit around here. Um, and I, I, hopefully that's going to overflow onto beer marsh farm and, and baby's farm as well.